What's up, guys? Today on All Sports Central, we're we'll gonna be going over a final prediction on the Florida Gators. This was a team last season that went 10 and 3, I believe. They did really well, um, and they were—I mean—they had a really good shot at a SEC championship. They didn't make it, but they were the second place in the SEC East. How are they gonna do in 2019? Is what we're going to be going over today. Does this team have a shot to make the College Bowl playoff? I really believe that they do, and in this video, I'll be explaining why. Once again, we went 10-3 in 2018. They returned Felipe Franks at quarterback. He's excellent. He had over 2,400 yards last season, 24 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions. Those are great stats for a quarterback. Um, really, if you have above, I'd say 2,200 yards on passing, that's already great. And he, Felipe Franks is already exceeding that. He's got 24 touchdowns as well, 6 interceptions. I mean, that low number of interceptions as well. Most elite quarterbacks can, I mean, it's tough for them to even not get seven. And so if having six for Franks, that is huge. And I really do believe that those are going to continue into next season. If he can play that way this year, Florida can go places for sure. They do look to return Perrin, but they do lose Scarlett at running back. Scarlett was their second best um, stat-wise running back last season. Perrin was their top, so they do return him. That is a good thing. This will be his senior year, so it's his last year at Florida. They also returned Jefferson and Grimes at wide receiver. Uh, they were their two top wide receivers last season, stat-wise as well. Uh, they don't lose much on offense at all. I mean, they do they do lose a few backups, a little bit on the offensive line. Uh, pretty good otherwise, though. They have a few losses on defense as well. The thing is, that their defense is already really so good that I don't think, I mean, it will affect them a little bit, but not too bad, I don't think. Once again, look at looking at those Flippin' Frank stats. Those are excellent. Really, that's it. That's what every quarterback wants. But can Florida beat Georgia out and make the SEC championship and college World playoff? Because as you guys know, Florida is in the SEC East. You got to compete with Kentucky and Georgia. Those are the two main teams that are going to be your rivals going into this season. I don't think Kentucky will be as much of a competitor. I really do not expect them to even have a shot of making it. I think they're going to go eight and four or so it's just their team they're losing way too many players and uh they I mean, last year when they were good it was because of the seniors that they had for sure i mean they were a very experienced team in college football but back to this can florida beat georgia out i think it's going to be very close and it's going to come down to the florida and georgia game whoever wins that florida georgia game uh towards the end of next season that is in a neutral location as well whoever wins that game is going to go to the sec championship game and definitely has a chance at the college football playoff because i definitely think i mean as it always happens the winner of the sec championship always goes to the college football playoff and so that'll be I mean, you got limit you got a legitimate chance there keys to making it to the culture Bowl playoff in 2019 once again you got to make it to the sec championship and you got to beat georgia you got to beat kentucky and you cannot have any bad losses in there so i mean i mean their chances i think they're pretty good Looking once again, the Georgia game is on November 2nd, so that's right at the beginning of November, and we'll get to that in a second. But you start off with the season on August 24th. That is what I would consider to be Week Zero. They got a Week Zero game this season in a neutral location against Miami. That is going to be a win. I'm really looking forward to that game. I bet I bet most Florida fans who are watching that game probably aren't the biggest fans of it, just because it's not on the key first Saturday. But I'm sure we all are excited about it. If you're not a Florida fan. Of uh, the UT Martin game on September 7th, that'll be an easy one. I think that'll be an easy win. September 14th against Kentucky on the road. That's going to be a tougher one right there. I think they'll be really close, but they pull off a win there. They won their next three games against Tennessee, Towson, and Auburn pretty easily. Uh, that Auburn game, I mean, Auburn's going to be good, but I think they're going to win that game by more than 14 points just because it's at home and Auburn's coming off of a tough stretch there. And then you got LSU on the road. That's going to be the one game this season that they do drop. Um, they're going to drop that LSU game. South Carolina on the road on October 19th will be another tough one as well. I think they're going to pull off a win there. That's going to be huge. Georgia game. Here we go. Here's the game that I'm talking about. I, mean, I think Florida wins this game, and they end up going to the SEC championship. Um, just because I think, I mean, Georgia, they're a very talented young team as well. And I think it'll be Georgia's year next year once, we're, we, once we see a few losses from Florida after this year. Um, but the thing is, though, it's just about Florida. They're returning so much of their offense. I think that they win that game. It's definitely going to be a good one, though. That one, it's probably going to be one of the best games of the season, I would assume. Vanderbilt, then, that'll be an easy win. And then, yeah, I think they're going to win their last two games against Missouri and Florida State. Watch out for that Missouri game. That could be a little bit of a tricky one there. 
uh, but you're going to get the win there. And then Florida State at home. Florida State will be improved this season, but I don't really expect Florida State to come in and beat them. So 11-1 and one is your record prediction for Florida this year. Uh, it will be a good one for sure for Florida fans. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on Florida in the comments below. Should be a good team next season and really looking forward to seeing how they do. Definitely, if you're a Florida fan, I think that it's definitely possible that you guys do make the college football playoff next season. Just hope and pray that you can win that SEC championship. Anyway, once again, let me know your guys' thoughts. If you disagree with this, be sure to let me know. And stay tuned for more from ASC.